Before we get to the Mike Collins response, let's begin with some Democrat responses, beginning with President Biden. I have been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. I'm grateful to hear that he's safe and doing well. I'm praying for him and his family and for all those who are at the rally as we await further information. Jill and I are grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety. There's no place for this kind of violence in America. We must unite as one nation to condemn it. Then we have Nancy Pelosi. As one whose family has been the victim of political violence, I know firsthand that political violence of any kind has no place in our society. I thank God that former President Trump is safe. As we learn more details about this horrifying incident, let us pray that all those in attendance at the former president's rally today are unharmed. We have Hakeem Jeffries. My thoughts and prayers are with former President Trump. I am thankful for the decisive law enforcement response. America is a democracy. Political violence of any kind is never acceptable. Then we have Mike Collins. Mike Collins is claiming that Joe Biden sent the orders because Joe Biden said, quote, we're done talking about the debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. Everyone knows that this is about them trying to get him to resign and be replaced and talking about the debate. And instead, they want to talk about Trump and Project 2025 and focus the campaign on that instead of the debate. Everyone knows that. Mike Collins knows that. But he's going for that outrage farm. He even has gone this far. The Republican District Attorney for Butler County, Pennsylvania, should immediately file charges against Joseph R. Biden for inciting an assassination. I am sure Mike Collins will be on Newsmax, OAN, maybe even Fox News repeating the same things like this very shortly. Because he wants the attention, obviously. 